This fall, the Houston Center for Contemporary Craft is hosting one of its most important recurring events. Curator Elizabeth Kozlowski gives us an introduction. Craft Texas is a biannual juried exhibition. Um, this, is, this is the eighth year that we've showcased um, contemporary craft artists from the state of Texas. So the call is open to um, contemporary craft artists that reside in the state of Texas and we have um, a three panel jury that reviews the work. And I think that's one of the most important things um, for both our arts community and the, the local and national community as well is that they get the opportunity to um, get their work in front of our jurors. So it's a great opportunity for our visitorship to see the talent that exists within the state of Texas and it's a great way for us to support our membership. Two approaches that I think stand out for me are the large-scale installations like the one by uh, Joy Uday that you see behind me and also material expor exploration. So you have artists that are using um, non-traditional craft materials like mountain laurel seeds, um, laser-cut rubber for necklaces, um, cassette tape to weave into wall sculptures. So there's a lot of different materials here that are a bit unexpected from the traditional that we think of like uh, glass, metal, fiber, clay, and wood. Juror Carol Sauvillon describes what makes this type of exhibition unique. A juried exhibit is a great opportunity for artists to submit their work, to be considered for exhibitions. Uh, it's a, an open call, so you don't have to be invited, which is essential. So often uh, a juried exhibition will uh, include the work of young artists who are just beginning and so it's a great process for them to go through and then if they're accepted for the exhibition that's even more exciting and then if they win a prize that's just a thrill so it works out for everyone I think. I think that when you consider jurying an exhibition each of us has a different point of view and that ver personal preferences very much come into play. I personally love functional work. I love process, I love technique, I love skill. Design is wonderful, but I want to see that backed up with really ability, you know, artistic ability. And I think this exhibition is a good example of some very amazing artists who have the ability and the skill and the personal vision. I think that it's very important that you learn all those techniques and then you go beyond them to have your own expression. And that's really with all of the influences around us, sometimes it's hard to find your own voice, but I think the artists in this exhibition have done that. I think that the thing I love about craft-based art objects is that we can, we can attach to them immediately because we can see somebody made this, somebody used their hands to make this, knowing that somebody trained their hands to be able to do this kind of work. So that to me is a starting point. And then just to enjoy all the different ways people can express themselves. And that's another wonderful thing about the crafts. There are so many different materials that you can use. And nowadays, there is this sort of borrowing from all the different aspects, all the different materials to, to make um, often installations and often per very personal uh, statements about their work and about their, their beliefs, really. Isn't that what artists should do? Craft Texas 2014 runs through December 24th. For more information, visit the Center's website at www.crafthouston.org. For Artbeat, I'm Stacy Hawkins.